you mentioned the, the ACL tear your freshman year. Um, I have I've got I had a couple ACL tears myself, so kind of understand what that can bring. Um, so what was what was the injury like for? I know you said you just missed the freshman year. Was it like a non-contact injury? Was it a contact injury? How did that kind of happen? And kind of what was what was it like for you that just the experience of like fi- like getting your season taken away for the first time and just like was it like the hardest thing the mental part was it the, the physical part um just kind of what was that experience like for you yeah it was so we were playing can i was saying earlier we were playing syracuse um it were literally when it was it was a, like gonna be the first big win we've ever we had that year my freshman year and we were beating them and we were actually stalling the ball because this was before we had the shot clock and like I of course ran into the corner like the one place you're not supposed to be during a stall um and it was a non-contact I'd cut off my my left knee and it kind of just collapsed and like and I think you probably know Sam like you you know when you do it like there's a feeling and like kind of I'm like laying there I'm like this could not have come at a worse t-. like you you know it and you're like you're trying to tell yourself it's, it didn't happen like you don't you want to think the best um it was definitely a big, a big blow to me. I had a lot of friends that had done it before and I was like, that's never going to be me. I'm always like very healthy, like always stretched out, like really thought like conscious about injury prevention. And it was just kind of like a real thing where, oh gosh, is that me? Sorry. Sorry about that. Um, but what I was saying is it was just, kind of a thing that I wasn't prepared for it it was my freshman year like my family's back on Long Island it was it was hard doing it on my own and kind of like motivating myself that like now I have such a different position like I'm on the sideline now this isn't what I'm normally doing like it was it was a hard thing to kind of like feel separated from the team um that like I was doing this on my own uh, my teammates were actually really good though. Like my best friends were had all torn the ACL before too, so they knew what it was like, and they kind of knew what I had needed to like comfort wise, motivation wise, which was really helpful. Like although at the first I felt like I was doing it on my own and I was isolated, like I then kind of realized and opened my eyes that like everyone was there backing me up and kind of helping me. Um, it took a little bit, but um, it definitely. I think for the best, it, it it worked out where I learned a lot from being on the sideline. I think even that too, like my IQ got a little bit higher because I was seeing the field and the game from a different perspective now rather than being in the in the middle and the chaos of it. Um, and it's just like it motivated me to want to be better, to like kind of really focus on on my speed, on my dodging, what I needed to do and what was working for some girls, what wasn't working for others and kind of how, how I would, how I would do something if I was in that position playing. Um, yeah. With the, with like the, the mental side of things was, was it hard for you at all to, to kind of get through the injury and did you start to kind of feel like, okay, like, you just, were you setting a lot of small goals and those like really helped you kind of get like momentum like all right I'm walking I'm jogging like like what was how did you kind of get over it was it just like put my head down and I'm gonna be fine or was there any doubt in your head or just what was like the mentality side like for you personally yeah I was actually a really slower process for my recovery I like didn't even start running till I was maybe 10 months out which is kind of late for most people um and it was, I just had a lot of like strength things that I, my legs were never really strong to begin with. So like getting back my strength was difficult. Uh, but it was, it was definitely a lot of little goals. Like a box jump was huge for me or even just like walking or running on the, the um, anti-gravity treadmill was such a big thing. And it, it's crazy the thought like you have to reteach yourself how to walk. You have to reteach yourself how to run. And like something that you've been doing for 19 years, like, how do you forget? Um, which was, it was mentally, it was like, I, I know how to do this. I feel okay. Like, why can't I go out there and, and practice right now? And, but on the other side too, I definitely had some nerves and kind of anxiety that like, I wanted to do it correctly and do the recovery correctly. So this would never happen again. Cause 
mentally and physically like this doing this again was would be really really hard for me because I know I know everything that has to happen I know like the pain the kind of the stress um of it all so I took a little bit longer time and then even when I came back and was back I had a brace on it was mentally wise like getting the ball like dodging was such a big like hill that I needed mountain actually that I needed to like get over like getting the ball like even now sometimes where my like legs are tired I'm like if I dodge right now like I don't want to get hurt like that's like the biggest fear for me um so that was something I struggled with for a while and then after like you probably know like after a while you just you just flow and you just like you don't even think about it and that's like where I needed to be in order to feel comfortable but it, it definitely took a while even like beginning of games like I needed to get into a flow where like my thought process wasn't going yeah, that's pretty that's I mean it obviously helps that you were at college and they could like walk you through like you really need to like take your time but like for me I did two in high school and it was just like six months I'm gonna be yeah. back like I need to play my next football season like I need yeah, to be yeah. back and I ended up redoing it a couple of times how long how long did you end up waiting until you like actually came back full to your team I waited so I didn't start running till 10 months and then after when I run, started running like things kind of progressed quickly so I started in preseason I think like at 11 months like that's when I started playing like it was definitely I wasn't doing a full practice I would do a couple of drills here and there and like each week I would build up to like maybe I playing 45 minutes of the practice to an hour then two hours so it was a slow progression but within that one month it kind of came pretty quickly just because I did want to play like I want I was ready to get back out there um and then even like my first few games my sophomore year like I would go in and then if we were winning or or what happened, like I would get taken out. So it was a lot of like slow things. I wasn't getting like thrown in into the water without like being prepared. With last thing with the ACL stuff, um, was there anything once you, once you got back where it was like a moment where I was like, all right, like I feel completely back to myself was like scoring a goal or like beating a dodge. And then once you did, get back full to yourself you talked about you were like kind of scared about doing it again a lot was there anything extra that you added on added into your routines to try to like even emphasize that injury prevention stuff even more um yeah I mean my first game back it was against Holy Cross and I like I felt so weird being on the field again because like I hadn't been on the field in so long um and I think just like the first half I think all together is just like this is so natural to me. Like I'm like right back in it. Like it didn't feel like I skipped a beat, which was so good for me. And like mentally wise, like I kind of needed that as like a little bit of a boost. Um, and I think now like as like injury prevention wise, I'm definitely really cautious about, uh, warming up beforehand. Like I do a lot of, uh, exercises that my trainer gives me with like bands and all that stuff and kind of making sure that I'm prepared every time I'm going on the field I'm not just putting on my cleats and going out there because I do I really would hate to do it again and I've had even since my surgery like I've had scopes on my knee I've had a few like scar tissue removal so it hasn't been like fine and smooth sailing since I got the surgery so it's always kind of been something that like I've had to be conscious of I had to think about uh but um I've been lucky enough knock on wood that I haven't had any big injury since yeah